The other day, I was sitting at a coffee shop scrolling TikTok when I saw something that shocked me. Tiny workers cooking salmon, then pork, then steak, even sushi. This 18-second video pulled in almost 350,000 views. Then I got excited. I realized how much potential was actually here. When looking at the profile for the person who created this, they didn't specialize in these videos. They had two or three videos with workers cooking, one with miniature workers doing detailed skincare on a beautiful woman, but the rest were random AI videos. Searching further, I only found a few other random videos like this. All of these videos got good views, yet as far as I can tell, no one has created a channel doing this specifically. Most AI gurus focus on niches that have already gone ultra viral and have tons of competition, but not this one. If you watch this video and take action, you have a chance to break into a niche as one of the very first creators. If you do this right, a few months down the line, people will be making videos about your amazing channel and how it blew up. By then, you'll be raking in the money and have a huge head start on any copycats that enter the niche. I found examples of this type of video for food, but also in the technology, chores, and cosmetics niches. For this video, I'll do a cooking example, but use your imagination. You could tackle so many different things with this concept. To start creating our own videos, I'll start by going to ChatGPT. I'll prompt it by asking for 10 ideas for worker-based food videos, along with an example image prompt to work off of. I'll leave a link in the description to my AI content community so you can grab the exact prompt. Once we enter this prompt, we'll be given 10 ideas for this style of video. The example video was about 18 seconds long, and the video generations we'll create will be five second clips. If we edit out a little, that means that we'll need four or five of these to create our own version. I'll jump over to Leonardo.ai to do the generations, but really any image generator with the Flux Dev model will work. From the image generation screen in Leonardo, we want to come up to the left and select Flux Dev. I will turn off Prompt Enhance since ChatGPT already did this for us. Under Style, I want to change it to 3D Render, and under the Image Dimension tab, I want to click More and then select the 9 to 16 ratio. Now, we'll grab our first image prompt from ChatGPT and paste it in the prompt area, hit Generate, and our first image is done. Repeat this process for the other images that you want to include in the video. Take some time on this step to get the perfect images. The video quality will depend a lot on the images you start with, so getting great starting images is really important. You might even have to adjust the prompt a little if you're getting something you don't like. Once you have the images you like, it will be time to create videos from them. I'll head back to ChatGPT and insert the video prompt from the document I've written. This prompt asks for video prompts for each of the images that we have already created. Hit enter and we'll wait for ChatGPT to generate the prompts. Once we have the prompts, we'll head over to Kling.ai, which is still the best generator on the market. Kling does give free daily credits, but if you run out, feel free to use a free generator. Once you've logged in, click on Video Generation. We'll be using the frame selection under the image to Video Generation tab. I'm going to upload my first image that we created in Leonardo into the image box, then I'll paste the prompt in the box for that. The prompt is actually optional, but you will get much better, detailed motion if you use it. Often, if you don't prompt Kling with what you want, you'll get some random camera motion and not much else. Leave the other settings as they are, and after a minute or two, you'll get something like this. Very cool. The tiny workers are moving up and down the stack of spaghetti, and the worker at the base is working on the stack as well. This part of the process does take a little while, so while we wait, please smash that like button, subscribe, and in the comments tell me what you'd like to see these tiny workers doing. The next step in the process is optional, but I think it really adds something to the video, so I wouldn't skip it. I'm going to grab some sound effects and music. For this, I'm going to use FreePick, but if you don't have a subscription to a premium stock service, then a free alternative like Pixabay will work. From the home screen of FreePick, I'm going to click on Audio and then Explore All Audio. Now we'll select Sound Effects. This is a cool option because we can generate custom sound effects or even use the videos we created to generate sound effects. 
I can use both of these options, but for a simple project like this, it is usually easier to click on stock sound effects. In the search bar, I'll type in tools, hit search, and now I have a bunch of tool type sound effects I can add to the final video. I'll search through these and download a handful that I like. Once that's done, I'll head back to the music section of FreePick. I want something calm but cheerful, so I'll just type happy in the search bar. Now I've got a bunch of music tracks that I can select from that are copyright and royalty free to use in my video. The last step before we finish up our video is to edit all the pieces together. I use DaVinci Resolve, but use whichever editor you are comfortable with. Start by adding the videos that you created to the timeline. Make sure if there are any weird motion parts you edit those out. You can use basic transitions, but I wouldn't go with anything overly shocking. This is a friendly, happy type video. Next, add in your sound effects and the music that you downloaded. Make sure the music isn't too loud so that you can hear the sound effects. The sound effects shouldn't be abrasive either. Little tools don't make huge noises. Here is the final video. Pretty awesome, right? And that's it, your very own tiny worker video ready to go viral. The crazy part is, we're still early. This niche hasn't blown up yet, which means you have a real shot at being one of the first creators to own it. So don't just watch this and move on, take action. If you end up making something cool, tag me or drop a comment on it. I'd love to see what you come up with. And if you wanna go deeper, don't forget to check the link in the description to join the AI content community where we share prompts, ideas, and feedback.